It's time for a brand new adventure of Drew Pendus and his mighty penultimate. In today's adventure, Drew must save the fall. It was a crisp November day, perfect for drinking warm apple cider and jumping in piles of leaves, when suddenly the sky grew dark and it started to snow. Hey, it's not supposed to snow yet. It's only November. I'm obviously trying to play outside here. Suddenly, it became a blizzard. Brr. Now you've gone too far, Winter. I want fall. Drew knew what must be done. First, I'm going to need an awesome looking snowsuit and something to melt snow, like lightning. Yeah, I designed these goggles to shoot lightning bolts. Cool. Now I'll just add a rocket fueled snowboard that can fly and boom. Winter, say hello to Super Drew. Super Drew melted the snow with his white hot lightning, but more snow kept falling faster and colder. He couldn't melt the snow fast enough. That's it. Here I come. Drew flew straight up into the sky like a rocket. Brrr. Too cold. Ow. Ow, ow. Drew flew over the snow clouds to the tip top of the highest mountain. He spotted the culprit. It was Jack Frost. Aha! I've caught you white handed, Jack. What's with all the snow? It's only November and it's a Saturday, which means I don't even get a snow day. It's not me. I'm trying to stop it. Then who's doing this? I am. <laughs> Drew was confused. This guy looked exactly like Jack Frost, except he had a funny little beard and he wore a black leather jacket. My evil twin brother. That's right, kids. It was Jimmy Freeze, Jack Frost's evil twin from another dimension. He looked like Jack, but instead of nipping at your nose and leaving pretty little ice crystals on your window, he did mean things. Yeah, I'm the guy who makes the playground all icy, so you can't go out for recess. <laughs> One time, he even knocked over a kid's snowman for no reason. <laughs> yup, that was me. And now I'm going to make it snow forever. <laughs> no, you're not. Drew sketched a ginormous snowblower to send Jimmy's snow backwards into space. But Jimmy shot Drew's snowblower with ice. Freeze. <laughs> he was frozen solid, kids, like a popsicle. Sorry. What was that? I can't hear you. But wait, look, Drew was melting the ice from inside with his lightning goggles. But Jimmy Freeze didn't notice because he was too busy being a meanie. It isn't nice to laugh at people, Jimmy Freeze. Huh? I can't believe you're my brother. Jack Frost helped him throw Jimmy into the sling and they catapulted him into space. See you never, Jimmy. Stupendous Drupendous and his mighty penultimate save the day, kids! With a little help from his friend, Jack Frost. See you in December, Drew! Perfect! And remember, I love it when it snows on school days. And make sure the snow is good for packing, not too powdery. You got us! Back in Drew's backyard, the snow had all melted. Drew celebrated by jumping around in a big pile of leaves. It was an awesome fall day. And the moral of the story, kids, don't be mean and never knock over a little kid's snowman. And be glad you don't have an evil twin. I'm sure glad I don't. Or do I? Who's there? What do you want? My sheep are missing. Don't look at me. I didn't take your sheep. I've been hibernating all winter. I don't think wolves hibernate. What? I can't take a long nap. Never mind that. I need your help. Oh, you need help, do you? What's in it for me? All the bacon bits you can buy. That's right, kids. Little Bo Peep figured if anyone could find a flock of sheep, it would be the big bad wolf. He's bad, but he's got a good nose. Now go snip out those sheep, wolfy. Don't call me that. I've got a reputation to keep. Sorry. The big bad wolf sniffed all around, all through town. He stopped to listen for baths and bleats. Nothing, not a peep, no sign of the sheep. News Channel 5, live on the scene, as notorious big bad wolf is on the hunt for the missing mutton. Here he is now, big bad wolf, give us the scoop. Any sign of those sheep? So far, zip, nothing. You heard it here first, still on the hunt for the missing flock. Looks like bad news. More on this at 11 o'clock. Little Bo Peep was so upset. Her beloved sheep were missing and no one knew where to find them. Oh, if only they would show up now, wagging their little tails behind them. Wait, what's that sound? Holy cannolis, they're back. My sheep, my sheep. 
But who's that guy? Is that... Old MacDonald? <laughs> Old MacDonald, what are you doing with my sheep? Well, I was doing my usual inventory, and on my farm I have some sheep. Here a sheep, there a sheep, and here a sheep, and there a sheep, and here and there, and oh wow, everywhere a sheep sheep. These aren't all my sheep. Whose sheep are these? And then I saw the news. And well, here we are. Well, I was so worried, my babies. But wh why would you guys run away to Old McDonald's farm? You naughty boys and girls. I don't think the sheep ran away, little Bo Peep. I also found this. <gasps> the mystery gets more mysterious. Ew, what is that? I think it's wolf hair. It was you the whole time? It's time for a brand new adventure with Drew Pendis and his mighty pen ultimate. In today's episode, Drew's got to fight the bad guys and save Halloween. Or should we say, Halloween? It was the morning of Halloween at Cool School, and Drew and his buddies were getting ready for the annual pumpkin craft competition. Come on, kids. Time to pump out those crafts. Or, uh, craft out those pumpkins. Okay, let's crown our pumpkin crafting champion. Nikki, you're up first. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you my scientifically perfect atomic pumpkin. Does nobody read their science textbooks before bed? You know, like atoms, all set together to make a molecule. And this is the nucleus, of course. Oh my, how creative. Huh? That's so weird. Pumpkins take weeks to get old and moldy. My pumpkins were fresh and new. Alrighty, next up, Drew Pendis will share his pumpkin craft creation. Attention Cool School, in all of Halloween history, there has never been a pumpkin superhero until now. Ooh. Ew. That can't be. It was orange a minute ago. Oh, dear. Okay, well, Robbie, would you like to go next? Voila, my masterpiece. I'm not really sure what inspired me. There's just something about it that I really like. Hey, uh, guys, this is not cool. I think these pumpkins are possessed. Maybe by that giant evil pumpkin? Ah! So Drew, Nikki, and Robbie made their way to the giant spooky pumpkin. Okay, I like pumpkins and all, but there's such a thing as too much pumpkin. It's totally against all known science. Something's not right here, guys. Okay, we need a plan. Ah. Shh! Quiet, Robbie. Why are we still here? That is an extra scary pumpkin. Wait a sec, that's it. So Drew quickly sketched himself a super scary Halloween costume. <gasps> it's Halloween, and that means scare power. That evil pumpkin thinks he can scare us, but we're gonna scare him right back. Ah! Hey, it worked. I actually scared a pumpkin. That's pretty cool, but also kind of strange. Well, if it isn't the color thief herself, Grace Kale, I should have known. Shh, Timmy, keep it down before you like ruin everything, scaredy pants. Ah! Ah! <laughs> I knew hiding like in a giant pumpkin was a bad idea. So you're the one stashing all of your orange color in this giant pumpkin? Drew? Drew sketched himself a pair of rocket boots and raced right after Grace. Wait, don't leave me here. Wait for me. Like, <laughs> give it up, Drew. That color belongs to me. Why do you want to steal all of her pumpkin color anyway? Because everyone at Cruel School is like sick of losing to Cool School every year. Dean Mean always gives us moldy pumpkins. So like me and the gang decided to grab the color of your fresh new pumpkin so like we can win once and for all. Nice orange this year, don't you think? You can't win by stealing all of her color. That's not fair. Uh, we're villains, Drew. That's kind of like how we roll. Oh no you don't. Drew quickly sketched a high-powered pumpkin shooter and started shooting pumpkins right at Grace. Like, better luck next time. Ouch! Ugh. Next Halloween, we will be meaner than, like, ever. Ugh! And the winner of this year's Halloween pumpkin carving competition is... Robbie! With 
his personal clown pumpkin. You think it looks like me? I don't see it. I hereby award you this gigantic pumpkin pie. Oh my, I want to thank my mom who gave me a love of pumpkins. It's helped to make me who I am today. Thanks, Mom. Yay! You did it, Robbie! And now it's time to celebrate. Everybody dig in! Well, Kids Drew saved the day once again. Pumpkins were back to being orange, and Halloween was mean no more. Moral of the story, boys and girls. Be sure to carve super cool pumpkin crafts with bright orange pumpkins this year. Oh, and don't forget to eat pumpkin pie. It's delicious. See you guys next time. Bye!